upper respiratory infection causes and symptoms a upper respiratory infection occurs when a virus or a bacteria enter the body usually through the mouth or nose the infection may pass to another person through touch or a sneeze or cough adults tend to get between 2 and 3 upper respiratory infections per year children especially young children may have more of these infections because their immune systems are still developing also children who spend lots of time around other kids may be more prone to these infections because children are less likely than adults to wash their hands after sneezing or wipe their noses when they do when they need to in closed spaces where people gather such as classrooms offices and homes can be high risk areas for the spread of upper respiratory infections typically a upper respiratory infection lasts 7 to 10 days and sometimes up to 3 weeks in some cases these infections develop into more serious issues such as sinus infection or pneumonia this video explores how to identify a upper respiratory infection the possible causes and how it spreads symptoms and types all different types of upper respiratory infection can cause different symptoms some common symptoms include coughing discomfort in the nasal passages a mild fever excess mucus nasal congestion pain or pressure within the face a runny nose a scratchy or sore throat sneezing other symptoms can include bad breath body aches a headache hyposmia or a loss of loss of the sense of smell itchy eyes on average symptoms start one to three days after an individual comes into contact with a person with the infection and then last 7 to 10 days types of upper respiratory infection several types of upper respiratory infection exist and doctors classify them according to the part of the respiratory tract that they mainly affect types of upper respiratory infection include the common cold many viruses can cause a cold symptoms may include a blocked or runny nose a sore throat headaches muscle aches coughing and sneezing changes in taste and smell a fever pressure in the ears and face the symptoms usually go away with home treatment after 10 to 14 days sinusitis 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 is inflammation of the sinuses and it may stem from an infection in another part of the respiratory system the inflammation can lead to increased mucus production and blocked sinuses due to difficulty draining Some symptoms of sinusitis sinusitis are pain around the eyes, cheeks or forehead, sinus pressure and tenderness, nasal discharge, a blocked nose, a reduced sense of smell, a fever, bad breath. A person should contact a doctor if their symptoms last for longer than 10 days without improvement. laryngitis this is inflammation of the vocal cords also known as larynx some common symptoms include a hoarse vo- voice or lo- loss of voice a persistent cough and irritation in the throat a sore throat the symptoms usually last about 7 to 10 days pharyngitis Pharyngitis is the inflammation of the mucous membranes that line the pharynx or back of the throat 
it often occurs with upper respiratory respiratory infections some common symptoms of pharyngitis are a sore, th sore or scratchy throat inflammation fever headache difficulty swallowing a doctor may find that there are ulcers on the walls of the throat most serious symptoms an individual needs medical attention if the following occur if high fever severe respiratory distress difficulty swallowing causes viruses and bacteria can cause upper respiratory infections when a person with a upper respiratory infection sneezes or coughs droplets of saliva and mucus that contain the pathogen spray into the air other people may breathe the droplets in or they can they can land on surfaces that others touch if a person touches a contaminated surface and then their nose eyes or mouth they may develop the infection other risk factors of upper respiratory infections include infrequent hand washing smoke or second hand smoke contact with groups of children for example in a daycare center or school time in crowded places such as airplanes and buses time in clinics hospitals or care centers stress and sleep problems damage to the airways or nasal cavity the removal of the adenoids or tonsils which are parts of the immune system and autoimmune condition is it contagious a upper respiratory infection is contagious it spreads through tiny droplets that a person with an infection exhales individuals may contract the illness through breathing in an uncovered cough or sneeze or via hand to hand contact with unwashed hands a person who touches their hands to their eyes mouth or nose can introduce the virus to their system the body has several natural defenses against upper respiratory infections the hair lining which traps infectious agents the cells in the lower airways which help transport pathogens back to the pharynx the mucus which traps infectious agents the angle between the pharynx and nose which helps prevent pathogens from falling into the airways can it turn into pneumonia according to the american lung association certain bacteria and viruses responsible for upper respiratory infections can lead to pneumonia the bacteria most often responsible for pneumonia are streptococcus pneumoniae common viruses that can cause pneumonia include influenza and respiratory syncytial virus or rsv Influenza can be fatal particularly for people living with pre-existing conditions respiratory syncytial virus or rsv is the most common form of viral pneumonia and typically it is not as serious as bacterial pneumonia therefore it is beneficial for a person to receive both the influenza vaccine and the pneumonia vaccine doing so can decrease the risk of transmission of these conditions and reduce the severity of disease in those who get sick when to contact a doctor while most upper respiratory infections resolve without medical attention complications can arise some of which can be severe A person should receive medical guidance if they have a upper respiratory infection and
Their symptoms keep getting worse. They cough up blood or bloody mucus. Fever that lasts more than four days. They are over 65. They are pregnant. They have a weakened immune system. They have any long-term health condition. Prevention It is not always possible to prevent a upper respiratory infection, but taking the following precautions can help. Covering the mouth and nose when sneezing and coughing. Avoiding cigarette smoke. Avoiding crowded, enclosed spaces when possible. Avoiding sharing drinking glasses and utensils. Cleaning and disinfecting objects that others frequently touch, such as shared keyboards. Having a balanced diet. Washing the hands frequently. Exercising regularly. When spending time in a crowded space is unavoidable. Increasing the ventilation, such as by opening a window on a packed bus, may help.